Another week, another chapter. We start this chapter off and its name is Conclusion. Yeah, we rushing to the end of this manga, man. This really was our Jujutsu Kaisen. That boy Sukuna is finished. The chapter starts with Sukuna talking to Megami's soul. Sukuna saying, How dare you try to live on? You let your body be taken by me? You c***ed your own sister. And you even rejected a hand that was offered to you. Give up. You can no longer live a proper life. Just stay quiet and let me handle the rest. Megami then talks back to the fading embers of Sukuna. I don't know what they mean by fading embers like this uh, Megami about to lose one for all two like Deku just did but hey let's keep it rolling but Megami says why are you so desperate there's still one finger left if the way of becoming a cursed object is predetermined then if you're peeled off by Itadori you'll die here and resonance isn't all too good for you too if your 19 fingers disappear the last one won't be able to connect your soul from the effect I'm honestly relieved to know that even you're afraid of dying I never intended to live a proper life from the start it's a given but there's so many more people other than yourself in the world I think I'll try to live for someone else one more time back to reality yuji's domain crumbles and sukuna's reincarnation gets undone on megumi's body and sukuna screams in agony as he is peeled off of megumi's body yuji then looks down at the residuals of sukuna and asks what he'll do and then he says to sukuna you are me yeah bro i see what you're calling back to here and you're dragging it the line was cool the first time but now you're just being dramatic it don't even really fit here bro like what the f are you trying to say and i know there are gonna be like six in the comments like oh my god you know get the dichotomy shut up dude. shut up the manga ends in three chapters shut up and look at my Noah in the thread losing his mind over this yeah. Yuji picks up the residuals of Sukuna and says, Born bearing a curse without even knowing it. What kind of monster that we would have become as a matter of chance. But I had my grandpa. Sukuna, let's try this one more time. Not to curse someone, but to live with someone. Even if no one else accepts you, I can live on with you. This Yuji Itadori really is trying to talk no jutsu Sukuna, who just slimed half of his gang. Bro, just put Unk in a circle chain and keep it pushing to this point. Sukuna, enraged at Yuji, says, I'll commend you for playing the fool to this extent. Yuji Itadori, don't underestimate me. I'm a curse. And then he dies. Grown ass man being bitter to the end, man. I gotta respect the hater energy, honestly. We then shift to Uraume Hakari, man, finally. And these niggas are shirtless. And Uraume got white stuff all over her face. And bruh, what the f what are you freaky ass nigga doing, bruh? Urume realizes Sukuna lost. Hikari asks what they'll do now. And Urume says there's no meaning to anything anymore. It says the only reason Sukuna did lose was because he was in an incarnated body. And that the only reason they won is because they were lucky that they were born thousands of years too late. And honestly, bro, I'm gonna say this again for the niggas ain't hear me like six chapters ago or something. If Gojo was back in 200 BC with Sukuna, he would cook. If Sukuna was not in Megami's body he would cook if maharaga was not a thing he would cook i don't care that gay gay with his writing made gojo say oh it probably wouldn't have won even against 15 finger sukuna in yuji's body that's bull you know why because sukuna literally says in the same chapter that he needed maharaga to win you can have a 20 finger sukuna but if he has no maharaga gojo's winning he has no 10 shadows gojo's winning this is literally the doctor strange one in 14 million times chance that Sukuna wins. Like literally, Sukuna had the perfect setup to win. And even then, he was still f losing. I got Gojo winning 14 million times to one, bro. I swear to God. This nigga Sukuna is a fraud. But let me digress. Akari says I was lucky, huh? That's the highest praise I could receive. And Urume's body slowly crumbled. Did they then say, hmm, indeed you are. My sweet biracial cinnamon roll. Yeah, they this was for like a hundred chapters or something. They freaky as man. I gotta put respect on it. I need the spinoff where they start a family bro this nigga dropped so good that she evaporated bro i'm actually so sick but hey man always bet on hikari or something like that this truly was the greatest off screen of today and we all know the greatest off screen in history the scene shifts again and megami wakes up and sees yuji and nobara trying to surprise him and asks what the two of them are doing they say they were setting up a survival prize for nobara and megami says ah i see my bad and they talk some more you know blah 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 nobara yaps about madonna and pissing herself or something i don't even know man and then Yuji takes out letters written by Gojo and says that Shoko gave them to him. And Megami and Nobara talk about how this isn't very like Gojo 
though, and it's kind of gross. And Megami notices that there are only two letters, and Yuji says he didn't get one because he talked directly to Gojo. Nobara reads her letter and instantly crushes it, saying that it's info on her mother's whereabouts and that she says that she's not interested in it at all. I don't know how Gojo had this, but hey, that's my goat, man. He gonna be next chapter, bro. Just watch. But best believe, I put it on your mama's soul. So Nobara asks if Megami got some special great authorities, and Megami just laughs as he reads his letter. Yuji and Nobara are curious seeing Megami laughing and reads his letter. But they're shocked to see that the letter just says, hey, bud, your father wasn't around anymore because I killed him. Sorry. This is how Megami finds out about his dad. He doesn't. He doesn't find out it's Toji. He doesn't find out Toji saved him in Shibuya. He finds out nothing at all. Yeah, yeah. Let me finish the story, bro. You've already sold enough. Nobara then says that they have to meet up with Maki and the others, and Yuji says this is about Yuta. We then see everybody on their way to wherever Yuta is with Yuji explaining that they have to save Yuta's life. And, bro, what is this nigga Panda doing right here, bro? You cannot do anything, bro. Also, look at that girl Miwa, bro. The second strongest is finally back, is what I would say, but my nigga, this is just Yuta in a wig. You ain't fooling no one, bro. Wrap it up. And the chapter ends with the editor comment being, is Okotsu all right? Nigga, I don't care. Three more chapters into the finale. But, hey, man, that nigga Sukuna went out sorry as hell, bro. They got that nigga looking like the coronavirus and Shin Uchiha, bro. I'm dead. But I'll see y'all in two weeks, I guess. And I'm glad this manga is ending right before Sparking Zero comes out, bro, because I would not want to be talking about this manga by the time the game of all games comes out. So I'll see y'all when I see y'all, bro. Maybe I got a little something in the works in between then, though. So I see y'all, man. I see y'all. Please. Please make sure to have yourselves a damn good one. Looking for some new clothes, figures, accessories, or more? Well, then head down to AnimeExpress.store. Bars. With items ranging from jewelry to lamps, swords to phone cases, plushies, and even Pokeballs. Along with Japanese street fashion as well. And some of the highest quality anime merch you could ever want to. Ranging from anime like JJK, Naruto, One Piece, and Dragon Ball. All the way to Haikyuu, Blue Lock, Tokyo Ghoul, and bro. They even got the Death Note. They have so much stuff. I can't even talk about all of it right here. So don't be a bore. Head over to AnimeExpress.store. Yeah! Use code AKI10 or the top link in the description to save 10% off your every order. So you save some money and I get some. We both win it. Again, that's code AKI10 or the top link in the description to save 10% off your every order. You can handle us. So cool, big scandalous. Show you what I'm talking about. So cool, baby, watch it now. It's a new.